And the federal government has launched an ambitious initiative to convert 1 million vehicles to compress natural gas CNG by 2027. Program Director Engineer Michael Oluagbemi shared the details at the Avalon Policy Dialogue. Engineer Michael Oluagbemi says while the government won't cover the full cost of conversion, they have developed a mass conversion incentive program driven by the private sector and already made down payments for 20,000 conversion kits available within the next month. Oluagbe make concluded that the private sector recognizes the immense opportunity in the CNG sector and will continue to invest bridging the gap and driving adoption as they are confident in their support to make this initiative a success. And that's why we have the enormous price dif uh, differential by BTU equivalent that exists today, which is about 40 to 50 percent. Um, if petrol was being subsidized naturally, then the case for CNG from a perspective of a more, uh, much cheaper, reliable, safer form of fuel for the transport sector will be difficult to make. The second leg of that, however, beyond the uh, removal of the subsidy, which the president has done, uh, is to ensure that the framework and the foundations necessary for the private sector to invest exist. And that is what we are beginning to do. Uh, that includes the uh, development of the regulatory framework around mass conversion of vehicles that were done with the standard organization of Nigeria, working with over 22 agencies, including the Nigerian Automotive Design and Development Council and various other actors in the automotive, as well as in the uh, uh, conversion industry, um, as well as in the road sector. Uh, but even more so is, this, uh, is the federal government putting in place what I call demand stimulative policies uh, that we allow natural gas vehicles to get on the road. So these demand stimulative policies are the types that I've already mentioned, but even more so what we now plan to have a mass conversion incentive program to enable the conversion of vehicles, commercial vehicles, personal vehicles, institutional vehicles on Nigerian roads to become hybrid. But with this PCNG committee and this uh, uh, presidential CNG initiative, the government can act as a buffer for the investments that are needed to build out this infrastructure. And it's clearly been shown a buffer from the building of the infrastructure on the mother station, right, to be able to tap into the readily available supplies on the pipeline and push it out for the uh, demand expansion that is driven. And also a buffer to spoil the investment of the daughter stations that will give the convenience factor for uh, the retail market, which is the last mile market to be able to tap into this initiative. So I'm sure we can now have a further conversation on exactly how the yeah. think of the macroeconomic benefits for the country in terms of reduced spending on importation. Also, the reduced demand on the FX leading to the appreciation of the Naira against the FX, which would then uh, impact other sectors of the economy in terms of uh, uh, um, the marketability of our local foods, in terms of commerce, in terms of manufacturing, in terms of transportation. So this is a cascading effect of uh, uh, positivity and productivity that the private sector is very excited about because this will yield results. Lastly, um, and I know I glossed on a high level on, on a few key things, and we can you know get into the details with that. But lastly, I want to I want to express how important this initiative is in terms of getting into a nascent uh, industry or a nascent opportunity. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.